Yeah, boy. Ah! Hi, Snakeys. It's me, Fifi, and I'm back. I'm back again today with part three of my Kinko of. Ah! Hi, Snakeys. It's me, Fifi, and I'm back. I'm back again today with part three of my November. King Cobra Patreon requests, and today we have. Well, I'm actually doing. I'm actually going to be doing two parts today, and both parts are going to be girly groups. And in this part three, I'm going to be checking out FX's Shadow. Um, I'll then be checking out Stella's uh, UFO. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, am I doing two songs called UFO? I think I am. When is the other UFO? I think on Saturday. Anyway, um, Stella's UFO and then Laisha's, Laisha's uh, pink label. I've really got a thing. I'm really going. I can't talk. It's gonna be one of them days. It's literally about to be one of those days. <sighs> I'm super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer. I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay, let's go. So first up, we have King Cobra Kai's request, which is FX's Shadow. Uh, let's go. I love this. Album artwork. Ooh. That woom, woom. Is this like a Christmassy vibe? Let's give me Christmas vibes. Dun, dun. This lap. Ad loops. There's something about this beat that is so satisfying. The way they go into like that sort of it sounds like it's going from major to minor. Does that make sense? Like it almost sounds like a bit Okay, I love it. Oh. So the blocking sphere, xylophone. That, that sounds so good to me. Listen. Something about this is giving me like red velvet vibes. Do you know what I mean? Like early red velvet, I'd say. Mm. 
fresh. Oh. I kind of really needed like an R&B bridge on that. Ooh, the scents. Mom. That slap. Shout out to you, Kai. Thank you so much for making Kerber Snakey. I'm going to leave my thoughts till after I finish everything. Oh, we now have Stella's UFO, right? Okay, the choreo immediately. That beat, it kind of sounds like a Zillia Bank 6212. Do you know what I mean? That wobbly sound. This pipe was hurt in my head. The robot boys. Isn't that black black mirror episode? <laughs> I love it. Stop, that was so cute. Oh, 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 crying because that was so funny Woo! i love this so much i can't wait to show the same view to my cousin like we have the same like ridiculous sense of humor i love this type of shit man i swear to god oh a cheese in it oh and i can save my daughter's so laugh <laughs> I'm 
my god. This is one of the best K-pop MVs I've ever seen in my life. Straight up, this is going to my top 10 K-pop MVs ever. No lie. Next we have Leisha, this is Kaiti's request. And the, the wet look hair. Yeah! Yeah! yeah, yeah. That face as well. that move like all week. Giving us another dance break. Love. I love that. The fact that we got two dance breaks. I love the dance break. I love the first one a little bit more, but I love the second one as well. Like the, the first one went off so hard, they had to do it again. Um, that ding ding, that, I love that. That was so catchy. And that one dance move. You know the exact move I mean. They don't do choreos like that no more. They don't do choreos like that no more. I feel like if groups and idols did start doing moves like that, I feel like people will start like complaining about it or like taking the piss out of it. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like, like it was okay to do these sort of almost silly moves in the past and then it would just like work like like i feel like they would dare a lot more to do things but i feel like now i feel like you have to like follow specific 
not trends, but like just things. And I feel, I feel like a lot of the time when people say like, oh, K-pop's too Western now, part of me is like, it's always been Western. Like, it's never been like traditional Korean music, right? But when I watch MVs like this or see choreos like this, that's when I'm kind of like, yeah, I kind of feel that. Like I feel like it does cater a little bit too much to the West now. Whereas before, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I just love it, man. And the song Slap, that pre-chorus, yeah. The synths, yeah, Slap. Shout out to you, Carter. Thanks so much for being a King Cobra Snakey. Then we had Stella's UFO, straight up. I said it when I was watching it, and I'll say it again now just to confirm it. That is one of my favorite K-pop MVs that I've ever seen, ever. I loved it so much. It was so much fun, again. Same sentiments with the choreo as with uh, Pink Label. Like, just so many little like iconic moves. Do you know what I mean? Like, choreo just not, like obviously there's choreo these days that I like, but nothing ever stands out to me. Um, the choreo is super fun. The MV though, that was everything for me. Everything, I loved it. I also had something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember what it was now. I'm sorry. Uh, shout out to Glenn. Thank you so much for making Cobra Snakey. And then we had FX's Shadow, which slapped. Something about the beat was quite odd. Um, well, it's, do you know what? It's FX. So I feel like with all this song, there's something that's going to be a little bit odd. Um, I love the beat. I just found it really, really satisfying. Um, I like the sort of, almost the sort of like wintry Christmassy vibes within the beat, like little twinkly sounds like the glockenspiel, um, the, the xylophone and just little twinkly sounds, do you know what I mean? Uh, the beat was just so satisfying and then of course that one moment in the chorus where it kind of sounds like off key, it sounds like it's going from like major to minor, like when you press on the keys on a piano or something, it's like, uh, like I love that. That was also super, super satisfying. My only complaint is though, is that I wanted a bridge. I feel like a bridge would have just gone hard, like a nice R&B one. Yeah, it would have made it extra good. Um, but yeah, shout out to you Kai. Thank you so much for making Cobra Snakey. That is the end of part three. I shall see you all in part four. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I Love you. Gonna follow me on Instagram, guys. Gonna follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Goodbye.